Welcome to Retro Machines. My name is Victor Bart, and maybe you already seen this Mega Man case mod uh, build. It's like the little brother of the Ultimate Year 2000 machine with similar hardware, but in a case that is already case modded and with a lot of stickers. The last weeks I was playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. It's a great game, you really need to check it out. It's just a full gaming experience in early access with many classes and options and amazing. I was thinking I like uh, Baldur's Gate 3 a lot and I have played Baldur's Gate 1 a few years ago on another machine which I built for games like that. Only that machine I sold off. <laughs> so. Let's turn this machine into a machine for RPG games like this Baldur Cage 1. And I got this on a flea market and later in this video I will tell you how I got this copy of Baldur Cage 1 and 2 with the expansions. It's a true story about kings, big hammers, stealing or sneaking away, passing like the cart and and merchants trying to get it cheap, <laughs> which I failed a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, see what we have here and then turn this machine into a Baldur's Gate 1 RPG machine. And also I will use this machine for D Diablo 2 with the expansion and Diablo 1. And games like that. Maybe I should get copies of uh, Fallout 1 and 2 and then the gaming set of cool RPG games is complete for this machine. And this machine has some problems, some ugly stuff, some awesome stuff, not enough stickers, not enough cyber. So let's, let's dive into this machine. In early 2013 when I was buying Fudu 5s for like 45 euro each, <laughs> the seller also had this case for 10 euros and it was already uh, case modded uh, with this DVD player and the floppy drive and with this blue and here black and the window and all the stickers I added myself. So let's see what we have. So we have a pretty standard layout in the front, but we have here a special button and more about that special button later. So let's move to the side with a big window so you can really see what kind of cool hardware we have like the two Fudu 2s in SLI. And the case came with the CD-ROM player and the hard drive and I think the power supply and the rest I added myself. So on the rear we have Crumpy Cat and on this side panel I added this colored floppy uh, with the Awesome Retro sticker because this system has been like 6 years by Awesome Retro with the same Windows 2000 installation and everyone could play games on this machine. So that's pretty impressive 6 years of the same OS with all kinds of people uh, on it and here we have an ohm 2013 sticker and i built uh, four of these machines including the uh, ultimate year 2000 machine uh, to uh, came on the event in a four player land party setup here we have an eindbaas sticker a really cool chip tune event and this sticker i made myself just with the printer and then uh, clear foil over it <laughs> it looks pretty cool has like a 3D effect here and lines of the printer so <laughs> how to make shitty stickers <laughs> so let's remove the side panel but it's impossible and there's also no screws here so you need to take the top off and then the handle and lift it up so I see six years of no cleaning the case so I probably need to uh, <laughs> clean this machine a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of dust on it. <laughs> but it's still working and yeah, yeah, I need to clean it. <laughs> so what kind of hardware do we have? Here we have a Pentium 3, 1 gigahertz, great CPU, just the maximum of, of the board. The board is an Asus Cus L2 uh, C. And I really love this motherboard. It has an Intel 815 chipset. 
It supports 512 megabytes of memory. It's also installed Kingston uh, memory. And it's just a solid motherboard with all the functions you need for a Pentium 3. In the ACP slot we have a GeForce 2 Pro 64 megabyte. That's a really nice card and I like it in a combination with the two Fudu 2s in SLI. So you have the Clyde support and the Fast 3D support. This is like an, an alternative for the Fudu 5 setup. The Fudu 5 is of course amazing but really expensive and if it breaks hard to find a different card probably the GeForce 2 Pro is also hard to get but this one I got for free and I think the Fudu 2s are from the brand Helios uh, the most cards that I have are Helios cards under here we have an Intel Pro 100 uh, network card and here we have a Sound Blaster Live the SB0600 so it works it's like the software based one uh, it gave sound perfect. The current hard drive is a Western Digital 200, that's a 20 gigabyte drive. And in this video, I'm gonna replace it with another drive. And right now, Windows 2000 is installed. The floppy drive isn't even connected because I don't have a rounded purple floppy cable. <laughs> and the big thing about this build is the rounded purple IDE cable and I really really hate rounded IDE cables and I think purple is the most hideous color in a computer build so it is perfect in this build ridiculous purple IDE cable is just amazing for this build it's like the masterpiece behind the window <laughs> I have done some basic cable management like sticking everything here in the bay. And here you see something also very hideous and ugly. And that are uh, cathode light bar stuff. Ah, I hate them. They are, they are terrible. But for this build? Yeah, it, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like a funny addition and it was already installed in this case so yeah i didn't i i didn't uh remove them because it's just funny and ugly and <laughs> it makes the build so let's turn on the machine and as you can see the cpu fan and the front fan has uh, red leds in it but the lights here won't turn on how is that possible here we have the magic button and that turns on the lights <laughs> terrible here's also brown I don't know why oh and the power supplies are uh, open and uh, I'm not sure how many watts because they put uh, the tape over the amount of watts but probably 250 or 300 watt which is fine for a build like this Pentium trees aren't that power hungry Let's see what kind of games people installed and played on this machine. Age of M Mythology, uh, Red Cat, Chess Jack Rabbit 2, Real Estate Tycoon, Pinball Arcade, Sim Earth, Civilization 2, Pinball, Age of Mythology, Red Alert 2, that one I installed on this machine, Knights and Merchants, uh, Prince of Persia, The Scent of Time, Grand Theft Auto, Unreal Tournament, I also installed that one uh, on the machine. Baldur's Gate 1, of course. Diablo 2, of course. Something of the Twilight CDs is on here. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And let's see if we go to the games. I also put on this machine Insane, Half-Life, Quake 2, Serious Sam. And I see Doom, but why is... Chocolate Doom.exe, what's that? Let's see if it works. Not sure. Oh yeah, Doom is also working. But the sound is really weird. It's kinda creepy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> okay, this is uh, kind of weird. Let's uh, get out of it before the demons come out of the power supply. There's a problem with this machine and the DVD player stopped uh, working. So I couldn't replace the DVD player and the 20 gigabyte hard drive is a little bit too small and I want to reinstall it with a different OS, Windows 98. So I have here a different hard drive. It's a 40 gigabyte Maxtro, 7200 RPM, super fast drive. And I already prepared this video a bit. I already installed Windows 98 and that was super simple and went without any problem. So I first used FDisk to partition the hard drive in 15 and 25 gigabyte partitions. And then I formatted both the partitions, put in the Windows 98 CD, installed it without any issues then i uh, went online to the nvidia website downloaded the uh, video drivers the network card was already installed i found the correct sound blast live drivers and the fast voodoo uh, drivers and it was done without any issues let's uh, swap out the hard drives and swap out the dvd player and boot into windows 98 Here you can see the ugly truth behind case mods. Story time. How I bought this Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 with expansions. And this is a quite nice uh, set because Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are on DVD and the expansions are on CD so no need to have 6 CDs for Baldur's Gate 1 so it's not the original box but I really like it it's like a later release and combination package but let's tell you the story because it's quite nice many many years ago on King's Day the day where the king celebrates his birthday. And his birthday is not even on that date. But the streets are full of people that are partying and celebrating and selling their old shit on the street. So everywhere were merchants. And I was with a party of two. Me, the level 2 gnome. And my friend Stitch, the level 2 bard. So we were in our camp by Awesome Retro. And we used uh, fast travel, the tram, to get into the big city, Baldur's Gate or Utrecht. <laughs> and we were uh, walking around and it was a shitty day. It was like 8 or 10 degrees and it had rained. It was not the best sunny day how we wanted to have it. But we were walking around with uh, some quests to get the best stuff in town. And some weapons and and cool stuff and the second merchant that I found on the street was selling his stuff and in between the stuff I saw this hidden gem and to be honest before I saw this I heard of the game never played it never paid attention to it but I saw the potential in this game that I wanted to have it my normal way to buy a cool game on the street is to offer them too cold. So I ask him, what do you want to have for him? And he asks 20 cold for it. And I was thinking, hmm. Then I said, hmm, normally I want to pay like two cold for a, for a game on the street. Then he said, but it's a cool game and amazing. And, and he was upselling it. And he was right, to be honest. So we were bartering and, and and trying to get a price and finally I paid 15 gold for it. So I think it's a fair deal because it was the hidden gem on the markets there. And that is how I got this copy of Baldur's Gate 1 from a nice merchant on the street. But the story is not over because I was walking around and I was looking for tools and most times the tools are very shitty. Then I saw a hammer like this size and I was thinking I need to have it. Like it's a hammer with a 1D10 rating. So it's a great 
damage potential hammer. And I got it for 10 gold, so I had the best weapon in town. So I was walking around town with like a big hammer on my shoulder. <laughs> hmm, luckily I didn't found any police, but because they probably could say you have a potential weapon. But luckily my friend Stitch had a really big rolling back. So it was a wonder the hammer could fit inside. So we were safe from the police. Then we were walking around more and more and more stupid stuff on the street with, which we didn't want. And we were like in the end of, of the day and then we struck cold for the second time that day. Thunderdome, VHS tapes, like 50 of them with some CDs and we got it for I think 50 or 60 cold. That was amazing! So we found Baldur's Gate 1, the big hammer, great music archives via etched uh, hardcore scene stuff, Thunderdome, stuff like that. So our day was perfect and then we had hunger. So we went to the inn, we ordered drinks, we got the drinks, we drink them. Then we needed to go to the toilet and by the toilet they asked one cold to go to the toilet then i said but we ordered food and we're gonna eat here so it must be free no one cold then i said f you and my friend had the same experience he also didn't want to pay so when we were both back we decided we don't like this place it was also very loud with music and and we weren't happy there. So what did we do? We already ordered some food and then we took our stuff and sneaked downstairs in stealth mode past the cart and we didn't pay because if they don't give us the service that we want we won't pay and we sneak out and then we went to the neighbors told the story of how we sneaked out and we had a great dinner and drinks and our day was saved. And that is the story how I got Baldur's Gate 1 in this DVD package. I hope you enjoyed this little story of Stitch and me on King's Day many years ago. I think this build needs to have more stickers like my Retro Machines 3D FX sticker. So let's put it on. And I have a scratch here so let's hide it under the sticker. And I... Oh wait it's... Ah shit! <laughs> Oops! I need to align it! No! <laughs> oh no I'm breaking my beautiful sticker! Uh, let's get another one! Oh wait the paint is coming off! <laughs> Oops! Let's get another sticker! So let's uh, put this one uh, correctly on the case. And this machine needs to have more cyber. Is this enough cyber? Maybe not. Maybe this is enough cyber. Or cyber overload. But I think this one is a little bit too much cyber. Then yeah, <laughs> let's not overdo the cyber on this machine but let's see this side this cyber or this or cyber cyber or cyber on top i hate annoying stickers ah oh no <laughs> the yes 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 i did it So Windows 98 is booted, only the drivers and Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 are installed and my previous Baldur's Gate and RPG machine was 600 MHz AMD and that was in Diablo 2, uh, sometimes a little bit on the slow side, that's why I upgraded to the 1 GHz CPU and a little bit more uh, power in the video cards 
and while playing RPGs a mouse is very important so I'm using a Logitech MX510 mouse and my uh, beautiful uh, Orange Compact RT101 uh, keyboard and this beautiful Hercules gaming monitor and this gaming monitor is a 17 inch from I think 2002-2003 uh, the screen is uh, 1280 by 1024 and it's an amazing screen and I really enjoy playing games on this and the blue of the screen with the case mod and the mouse that is blue and the keyboard that's orange is a great combination so let's uh, start with Baldur Skate 1 So I'm currently in the friendly arm in and I just picked up Jaira and Khalid and I already have Imu in. So I'm just starting out the game and I really enjoy it. It's pretty difficult and as you can see I'm, I'm almost dead. So let's rent a room. So let's get the most expensive room and let's rest. So uh, let's go on an adventure and see how far I can come without dying and without reloading and stuff like that and saving <laughs> and maybe I will skip some walking around so let's go a little bit back to the previous area because there was one monster that was really too much for me so let's see if I can kill it now and let's go to the forest here I already explored it here and let's go into here because there's an enemy that I want to kill. Enemy sighted. Who is it? Let's see where it is. Let's just attack it with everyone. Unpause it. Oh, there are two. Oh wait, one is already dead. <laughs> let's see if they have any loot on them. Some gold and a sword. And in the beginning of the game the iron is bad so you need every sword you can find because your weapons will break. And I'm a fighter, she's a thief and uh, she's a fighter druid and he is a uh, fighter also. So no mage or any <laughs> special units yet. And I'm not sure who I gonna take uh, on my adventures. Ah there he is. He's really big, an orc. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, you can attack with a bow and you can attack with this one with some magic stuff and you can just me melee attack and you can also put your sword in him. Unpause it. Oh, <laughs> hmm, <laughs> he's almost dead. Uh, let's let's run away. <laughs> uh, you can use your bow. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really experienced. Oh wait, he's already dead. That was pretty easy. Half of my team didn't do anything. But we have some belt. And some, I think this is also a belt or, yes. Also a belt and a weapon. And we gained uh, 270 experience. So maybe you m must heal. Drink potion. Yes, you are healed. Hmm, there was some temple here. And some guys here. Are they friendly? <laughs> we are not scared of a bunch posturing red robed freaks. Please don't kill us, we don't want to die. Let's uh, provoke them. <laughs> a group of Argon whelps, this is such a reward. I will make your deaths all the more sweet. Okay, they are now hostile. I don't think we can survive this. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. You can use your your arrows and hit this person. You can use uh, also arrows and attack this person. Then the two fighters can go attack this person. And let's see if it helps. Oh, they are mages. <laughs> Um, why are you not walking to there? <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna lose someone. Oh, they are, they have a spell on them. And she's dead. <laughs> uh oh. And she is, oh no. Oh. We have the second person died. I think I need to run. <laughs> Let's run away. Leave everyone behind. Run! <laughs> run! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Can I get away? <laughs> Always <laughs> leave your dead team members behind. <laughs> Oh, enemy sighted. Are they chasing me? No. A spider! Oh, this is not good. Um, I think I have a shield. Let's uh, remove the bow, put the shield and go... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> it's a huge spider. <laughs> At least the spider is taking damage and not me. Oh, I'm infected by something. The spider bit me. <laughs> okay, it's dead. <laughs> ah, nice. 270 experience. But let's run away from the red guys. Let's go back to the wood here. Uh, this is the perfect playthrough, how you need to do it. And now I died. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a professional player in it. I know all the tips and tricks here. And yeah, I need to learn this game. But I enjoy it. And it was just a random walk around. So normally I go into a map and search every corner and save a lot. Sometimes I just reload it because I need to learn the game and the mechanics and the enemies. But I have a lot of fun in a game like this. And I like the graphics. They are very low end but, but great. The Mega Man build is ready to play some Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And I'm probably gonna move this system next to my workstation. So I can really enjoy the game and just play it and explore it I'm really looking forward to it but what do I think about this build I kinda hate it <laughs> yes I think it's great hardware in a unique case <laughs> but the case itself <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> the the blue is terrible and and the lights are terrible. But as I'm built, it uh, it has something, but not really for my taste. <laughs> I know my friend uh, Dicky. Uh, he really loves. This machine <laughs> by Awesome Retro, this was one of his favorites. He was also really sad when I took it away. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I think at school for an alarm party or maybe on a, in a museum or something like that. But not really <laughs> to, to have it as my pride and joy. It's more, yeah, it's a funny build, yeah. <laughs> so probably in 
in some time I will just build a new ultimate RPG gaming machine. Maybe that will be a theme for me <laughs> that I'm looking for the ultimate perfect build to play the RPG games. <laughs> Also the monitor is really nice, but it's a 5x4 monitor and not a 3x4. So it probably stretches out everything on an ugly way. <laughs> so it's also not perfect <laughs> for the RPG games. So maybe I should uh, just use a CRT monitor or a 3x4 good uh, TFT monitor. So yeah. <laughs> What do you think about this build? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you think it's terrible? And what do you think about the purple IDE cable? And what do you think about the purple IDE cable that I stole from my friend Dan? <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like to support me, you can support me monthly on Patreon or use my Amazon affiliated links. Cyber.